Welcome to Fabio's Kitchen Academy. Quick recipe for both professional and the home cook. Let's get everybody a lesson in Alfredo sauce. Alfredo sauce was created by a traditional Italian restaurant in Rome in the mid 18th century. Does not feature cream, does not feature anything else but butter, cheese, salt and pepper. So now Alfredo, it's almost like a little bit of a cacio e pepe, all right? And, and the, the differentiator there is that then they used to do the base for Alfredo with a little bit of a roux, which is flour and butter. Almost like a very, very light bechamel sauce. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna replace that and we're gonna do a gorgonzola conchiglia, which is shell pasta, Alfredo sauce with blue cheese. So now, we're gonna get the pasta and we're gonna add the pasta to the water. Then we're gonna melt a good amount of butter in a pan, let it melt and get to the point where the butter barely, barely start to get brown. Basically, Alfredo is really a cacio e pepe without the black pepper. Just clean, white, plain butter and cheese emulsion sauce. I'm gonna show you how to do it. You gotta melt the butter. You're gonna let this melt. The pasta is cooking there. Then you have a good amount of Italian Parmigiano Reggiano, Parmesan cheese. And then we're gonna do a spin on it. We're gonna add some blue cheese, which is also great if you serve braised meat with it. So think about you're braising a pork shank, veal shank, you're braising short ribs, ossobook, and you give a good size of a creamy pasta with it. Absolutely delicious. Soak up the good juice from the braising liquid to die for. Gonna melt the cheese, the melt the butter. Now, pinch of salt. Not too much. We have blue cheese, very lots of mineral, lots of salt in this to it. So don't overdo with the salt. And now all we gotta do is to get the butter on low and let it melt and let it cook a little bit. A light brown butter is what you need. And as soon as the pasta is cooked in about four or five minutes, I'm gonna show you how to do the Alfredo sauce. All right, guys, let's get the Alfredo. You're gonna need pasta water, all right? Here's the key. You need pasta water for a good Alfredo. The starches, the starches from the pasta releasing in the sauce and the pasta water, starches, flour, and the pasta water and the butter will create the perfect emulsion. As soon as you see the emulsion, then you add the cheese, the Parmesan, and you perfect the Alfredo sauce. As you can tell, see this, look. That is the beginning of a good Alfredo sauce, but you have to let your pasta cook with the pasta water in the pan. So the starches get captured again in the sauce and the sauce keep thickening. Keep thickening, not thick, not thickening, thickening. Is Thickening is a clock, clock is ticking, the sauce is thickening. There is still challenges with my English. But all we care about is the food is good, who cares if I sound like an idiot? Look at that, beautiful. Now, let's look at this process. It's important 
to look at it. I would love to put a clock. Wait three minutes, go sip coffee while you're just pausing and waiting for your sauce to reduce. But I want to show you the process. It's important that you see what's happening as the sauce reduces it. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this beauty. Look at that. And look at those bubbles. That's all the moisture leaving the body of water and sauce. Also, don't forget, especially when you use a spoonish looking like pasta, you see that all the sauce is captured in the little, in the little spoons of pasta. So make sure that you keep tossing it so the sauce keeps getting better and better and better. Now, do you see how white the sauce is? This is the time to add the cheese. Let Alfredo come and visit us right now. Look at this. Let me show you once the cheese melts completely, what a good Alfredo sauce looks like. Pasta water, you see that sauce? You see the white sauce coating all the pasta? That's Alfred. The O hasn't showed up yet. You gotta wait another minute because the cheese has to be completely melted before Alfredo show up. For now, it's just Alfred. That's how American would do. Got a little bit more pasta water. You all people there. Look at that. Ready? We need Alfredo, not Alfred. Look at that. And yes, throughout this whole time, you got Alfredo all wrong. Go figure it. You needed me for that. Check this out. You see how the sauce is white? Please, let's zoom in this thing. Look at that. Look at that white sauce there. That's Alfredo for everybody. Hello, hello. What up, Alfredo? Look at that. Alfredo, my dear friend Alfredo. Where have you been, Alfredo? Look at that. Let's go together, Alfredo. Look at that, Alfredo. Now, now that you have Alfredo. Delicious, Alfredo, by the way. Nick, come here. Try this. Come here, Nick. Did you forget the blue cheese? No, I didn't forget the blue cheese, Nick. Shut up. It's, it's my cooking show, not yours. And it burns. I hope you burn yourself. <laughs> I probably will. Go. Oh. It's burning, right? It's very hot, isn't it? Well, delicious. Delicious, right? Because that's Alfredo. Oh. So now, now, Alfredo is creamy without the cream. Alfredo is cheesy without too much cheese. That's the coating. And now, that you got there, look at this. Let me tell you a secret. You got a bunch of knuckleheads out there. Let me tell you a secret. If I pull a lot of fresh cracked pepper right now, guess what you got? Cacio e pepe. That's it, two for one. What am I, Walmart? I just taught you how to do two dishes with one move. Crack a boatload of pepper, you got cacio e pepe. Leave it without pepper, you got Alfredo. Bam! You're welcome. Like this video twice, because I gave you two recipes, not one. Look at that. Now, now that you have this gorgeous concoction of cheese and water, basically, you add some of the blue cheese, and now you have a gorgonzola Alfredo. Look at this. Seriously, people, not for real. Look at this. Like, what would you do if I didn't teach you all these things? Would you keep eating Alfred with heavy cream? Seriously? Will be your greens. Be your parsley on it. There is no better Alfredo than the Alfredo I do. Look at this. You're watching Fabio's Kitchen.
Hey guys, now that you've watched, you know this is a good recipe. How about you go share it for once?